Yo, what is up everyone? This is Rattlehead coming at you guys with a new video for Mortal Kombat 1. Uh, before I begin, I want to give a quick shout out to Chris Shaw 4063 who made me aware that you're able to change the voice and speech rate for uh, PC version MK1 as, as uh, regarding accessibility for blind players. Uh, so shout outs to Chris Shaw. Uh, for pointing that out in the in the comment section, I appreciate that. And so, uh, because of that, I a lot of you probably know this already, but for the sake of putting it out there, and maybe uh, new people who are coming to the game want to change that, uh, I want to take the time to show you guys how you can do that. You actually don't do that through the game, as you can tell here. We do not have a setting for speech rate or voice selection like in the console versions. Actually, screen reader volume. We have a screen reader volume, the volume, descriptive audio, and then it goes directly to the descriptive Toggle audio. Weather, screen reader. Toggle weather on screen text. So this is on is right now, right? On. And so what I Left did for right the sake button. of this video is I Change. went ahead and put it at Up the default settings. Button. So now Navigate. I am going to show you guys Circle how to back. do that through Windows. It's the Windows settings that you do. So let's get into that. I don't want to do this for too long. I want this to be a pretty a straightforward video. So let's get into the settings. Okay, so here we are. I have this uh, area where a bunch of windows are open, so sorry about that. But I want to do this real quick. And uh, basically, the first thing you want to do is in, if you go into your search bar, right, on start menu, and you type settings. S, level 1 settings. E, settings, system. Press right to switch preview. One, I'm going to press one. enter settings. here. Settings window. Search box. Find us. And so we're now on the main window of the settings uh, uh, option uh, in, on windows. So this is not in the game. And then what you do is you go, so you go to settings. List, system 1 of 13. And you go, you want to go to time and language. So, of course, I'm using my uh, uh, PC screen reader to do this right now. T, app 6 of 13, accounts 7 of 13, time and language, gaming 9, time and language 8 of 13. Time and language, you press enter settings here. Window, date and time, search box, find a setting. And then you want to tab forward. List, date and time 1 and 4. Where it says, you're going to see three, four options here. Uh, it's time and uh, what is it? date and time. One date and, four. and time. Region not selected. Region, two and four. Language not language, selected. Three and four. Speech not selected. And four speech. and four. This is where you want to go. You press uh, speech. Speech. Enter selected. here. And now we're in the window where you can adjust your voice. You can even select a different voice right now. As I mentioned on my previous uh, video, I'm using Microsoft David. That's what the game automatically recognized from window the Windows uh, software. So what I want to do here is I'm going to tab forward. Speech language grouping. Choose the language you speak with your device. Combo box English. So United of course, States, you know, collapsed. for me in this case, I'm going to choose English and I'll leave it by default. But you can change the language. It does support it according to other players. Recognize non-native accents for this language. Checkbox not checked. Okay, we don't need to worry about that. Recognize native accents. Microphone grouping. Get started. Microphone. We don't need the microphone. Voices grouping. Choose a voice. Combo voices. box Microsoft David collapsed. Here we go. So look, voice, choose a voice combo box Microsoft David. Collapse. Right here it says Microsoft David, right? So you don't want to do that. So well, if you want to, that's cool. You can just because what happens is if you want that voice, you can tap again. Voice speed slider fifty, and you can increase the voice. So what I'm gonna do for the sake of just showing you guys, I'm gonna uh, use my arrow keys to go fifty five, six six seventy five, and then after you do that, it says seventy five. Now I'm gonna tap preview voice button, and I can preview the voice now. Space. You have selected Microsoft David as the default voice. You have selected Microsoft David as the default voice, so I speeded it up. Uh, cool, right? But I want to use a different voice. Voice speed slider 75. So I'm going to bring this back. Just uh, I could, You can leave it there, actually. I'm going to leave it there. Choose a voice combo microphone grouping. Get started and I'm going to shift grouping. tab to go back. Voice, choose a voice combo box Microsoft David collapsed. So I want to choose Mark. Microsoft Zero. Microsoft Mark. So I went down arrow and I picked Microsoft Mark. And I'm gonna tap forward again. Voice speed slider 75. And the speed is there. And I'm gonna go tap again. Preview voice button. Preview voice. And now space. You have selected Microsoft Mark as the default voice. So there you go. Now have Mark as the default voice. So what's gonna happen though? Your game won't recognize this until you reset the entire game. Basically, you know, uh, quit the game and then restart the game, and it'll recognize it. So one more time, let's do this. So uh, you go into settings, time, and language. Um, then you uh, go to speech, and then you go. Uh, you basically start sh uh, tabbing and shift tabbing to all these different options, and set it to your liking. Voice speed slider seventy five. Choose a voice combo box. Microsoft Mark class. So I got Mark. Uh, you can use also Microsoft Zero. Zero. Uh, voice speed sliders. Choose a voice combo box. Microsoft Zero collapsed. Can you use Zero? Uh, voice and I'm preview gonna voice press. 
Space. You have selected Microsoft Zira as the default voice. So you can have that as your default voice. Again, I am not I haven't browsed the game yet, but you'll see once I start browsing the game. So I'm going to choose... Voice, choose a voice combo box. Microsoft Zira collapsed. Microsoft Mark. Mark. Voice speed make sure. 75. My, I like my speed at 75. You can do whatever you want. Preview voice space. You have selected Microsoft Mark as the default voice. There we go. Voice speech. Choose a microphone group. Speech language grouping. Recognize non-native accents. Choose the list. Speech. Form. Okay, so then um, I'm going to go ahead and close the window now. And what I'm going to do is I'm, I'll go ahead and switch to the game. So, and then I'm going to start. I'm going to actually reset my game and come back. And I'm going to start messing around with the game. And you'll see the difference. Customize. Versus. Campaign. Story. Fight your way through a cinematic story. Cross button confirm. Left and right button, select campaign mode. Up and down button, change category. Touchpad button, open combat card. Options button, open store. All right, as you can tell right there, all of the settings that I did are now taking effect. And we got Mark and my speech rate has sped up a little bit and uh, on the PC version of Mortal Kombat 1. So here we go. So let's just kind of browse Versus. a little bit just Local. to kind of get a Fight. taste for it, right? Invasions. Towers. Unlock character endings by defeating classic versus local. Fight a human online. Fight right. online against other players. All of these options that we, you know, what the, the, the screen reader was reading already. Customize. Anyway, Cameo. now because the, all of our settings Unlock that we changed, Fighter. it's rating Customize. everything versus and it's local. it's smooth. Fight a human or no lag, no anything. It's, it's great. And versus. everything reads obviously, online. right? We can go Fight here. Um, Social. Go online. Cross button confirm. Up and online settings. Cross button. We can check all, all of the different Com casual. sections here. Private. Versus. Private matches. Invite another player. Social. Private. Versus. Invite another player to fight. Cross button. So there Casual. we go. Private. And of course, Versus. we know the only Invite. area where ranked. it doesn't read Online settings. is Social. On ranked. Combat if you go on ranked, ranked and you press square or one. Of the Huntress. 43 days. Cross button confirm. Left and right button. Select rank mode. This is the Up only area category. as of this patch changing. right now Square where button, the game, the Triangle screen reader in the game doesn't Circle read right now. And this, again, it applies to all consoles as I mentioned in my previous video. So that's it, right? So we, we, this, this doesn't read. I'm browsing around. It's not reading anymore. But other than that, everywhere else it reads, right? We talked about the invasions. Everything reads there. Uh, the store, everything reads there. Your combat card. Uh, your stats, all of that stuff, your customization, the shrine, everything reads. And now that, you know, you can, and on the PC version specifically, you can change the speech rate um, and uh, change the voice and all that good stuff, right? Uh, just, I know that on Xbox as well, you can change the voices as well, like on the PS5 where you have voice one and two, uh, you can do that as well in there. But on the, on the uh, console versions, there's no toggle for speech rate right now but on pc you can do it through windows as we showed on this video so yeah i mean it, now that the only thing that doesn't read is the leaderboard and i if that gets fixed on the on uh on the next patch whenever that that whenever that is uh this game i would honestly declare it declare it 100 accessible at that point right now i would say because i don't know how i know for a lot of people the leaderboards are probably important or whatever to me i guess i mean it is important but it's not gonna break the game for me my experience because everything that it is important reads especially the practice mode is you know since i practice a lot for for tournaments and high level gameplay and all that um and a lot of, a lot of the blind fgc anyway right so that it's it's it actually helps our community so with that i i'd say this game maybe i would say it's 98 or 99 percent accessible if they add you know if the screen reader starts reading the the leaderboard then yeah this game is 100 percent accessible because also let's not forget that this thing reads you know the the online uh sections now like for for uh, ranked uh like combat league where it says that if it's wired or wireless and that's important as well so yeah this game is almost there like it's it's literally just one hair away to being 100 percent accessible so kudos to the the team at uh and nrs for the accessibility of course again this video is focused on that so that's what we're focusing on not anything else in the game right now uh, so anyway, with that said, thank you guys for watching. This is Rattlehead. Uh, I hope you guys found this video tutorial uh, useful. And uh, thank you again to Chris Shaw for pointing it out in the comments. And uh, everybody else who also hit the like button on my previous video. And shout outs to my new subscribers. And with that said, this is all. This video kind of dragged a little bit longer than I uh, wanted to. But anyway, that's it. I'm Rattlehead. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.